Hello everyone, I'm back today with John Wilson. We're sitting in Centennial Park in Sydney, Australia. We were here about a year ago at the time to announce the the release of John's book, Jackals of Slavery. How are you doing today, John? Quite well. Good, very lovely to see you again. Thank you for agreeing to do some more interviews. Oh, happy. A lot has happened in the year since we last spoke as we're sitting in this very spot. That's right. One of the most significant things, particularly in recent days, was of course the announcement of the death of Queen Elizabeth II in England. Today is Monday the 19th of September and her death was announced 10 days ago on the 9th of September, which was a Friday here, but that would have been Thursday lo local time in the UK. I think you'd like to speak to us today about a variety of topics, but one of the things we do want to discuss is this issue of the Queen's death and Charles, King Ch now, now, now known as King Charles III, being announced as our King. Uh, as your sign there says, King Charles III of Australia, no way. That's correct. You can, uh, can you expand on that and tell us what changes you think will be made, whether these are going to be changes for the better or the worse, or are we going to have more of the same? Well, the whole idea of the actual book was, was to tell the truth. And... Uh, in this book, I explain that, that we actually became a Commonwealth on the 1st of January 1901. And when you have a Commonwealth, you cannot have a King or Queen. Now, this is, uh, uh, Cromwell established that back in the 17th century, when uh, they had bad King Charles I. And uh, he was a, a traitor against the people and waged a war against them. So, uh, he, uh, Cromwell, set up a trial and tried him for the high treason and they, they cut off his head, they found him guilty. And then he brought through an act of parliament to abolish the office of king. And then he brought through another act of parliament to establish the Commonwealth of England. And when you have a Commonwealth that is of the people, by the people, for the people, no king or queen. In fact, uh, I have here somewhere that uh, the actual act which says exactly that. Once England was declared a commonwealth without any king or house of lords. So you, it, it's been totally inconsistent with our uh, political status. We became a commonwealth and that's what we all have become uh, and enforce that. And, and we never had a constitution drawn up uh, suitable to uh, enacting the commonwealth where the people uh, govern themselves. And that's what we've got to do now. We need uh, to refocus on our becoming independent. This was the day we became independent, on the 1st of January. And uh, once you become a commonwealth, there is no king or queen. And we have got to have a new constitution. This constitution is inapplicable, invalid, because it says quite clearly that the executive power of the commonwealth is vested in the queen. It's absolutely wrong. You cannot do it. And they kept this lie going for years and years, 121 years, they've kept this lie going. So now that we've lost the Queen, the lovely lady that she was, uh, we've lost the glamour of a monarchy. And now King Charles III will become sort of a naked monarchy. Uh, all the truth behind how a monarchy works will be, be come out in the open and we people will be debating it and we must have new constitutional conventions drawing up what we should have had 121 years ago we should have had a constitution uh, suitable and practical in our commonwealth where we, we govern ourselves we are supposed to be a sovereign independent and a self-governing nation and that's what we've now got to become and uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth and, and, and Prince Philip they, they, they kept, I feel sorry for them because they surely knew they were only a front for all the gangsters and all, all the profiteers <laughs> and the aristocracy, the elite. Uh, that's behind the crown. Now that, that face is gone and we have the face of King Charles and, uh, and all his warts will become exposed. And so now we've got to have uh, a, a revolution that we should have had uh, 121 years ago, where we start to become a nation, uh, a proud nation in our own right.
it was actually in this very spot where we are now that uh, Federation Day occurred all those years ago. This very, this very spot here, that's, that's yes. <laughs> There's a historic photograph of Absolutely. where we're sitting right now. But John, these issues with the monarchy or the change from a queen to a new monarch in the form of King Charles, does this represent more than simply us being over-governed? I mean, even within Australia, without looking at the monarchy itself, people say, well, we've already got three tiers of government, federal, state, and local government in the form of local councils. Then in Britain, you've got the monarchy and you've got the uh, houses of well, uh, parliament in Westminster in London. Is this, uh, are we talking about here just a total uh, overkill, for want of a better term, in terms of the sheer number of, of leaders or, or rule books that apply to our society and what they impose on us? No, no, what, what you're actually talking about is bureaucracy. Bureaucracy, that's and a you, good you're word. You're talking about uh, levels of government, of having. Uh, local, which was voted out by, by the people anyway, yes. and the state and federal. That's yes. all bureaucracy. We are not governed by this bureaucracy. We are governed by common law. We are a commonwealth. It's of the people, by the people, for the people. So actually, real government are the courts. Courts are government because they, 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 that's where laws are enforced, and that's where penalties are laid, given out, and so forth. So the real government are the courts, not the parliaments. The parliaments only make statutes uh, for the running the business side of the nation. You know, the, uh, impacting on the people? No, they do not. We are not slaves of the state. We are sovereign human beings. We are sui juris, and we, are, we have the right of consent and we have the right to property, and we have the right to trial by jury, all these inalienable rights which we've got to refocus on and, and take, uh, take control of our own destiny. This, this was aborted back then by a scoundrel, uh, here he is, a scoundrel of all scoundrels, and he was the representative of Queen Victoria who read out the proclamation for the Commonwealth of Australia, and then he did nothing about it. He, he submerged all that. It's quite an ironic cartoon because here is this aristocrat ta taking on the role of the Queen, of the Crown. Crowning himself, and I know that illustration, that diagram. It's famous. It is featured also in your book, Jackals of Slavery. Well, that's why I put it on the front page, yes. on, the, on the cover, because it tells us the story which still exists today. Uh, and here's the ghost of a, a shearer in the background of a, a farmer, and he's saying, a great, great shot, is this what it's come to? Uh, and uh, they were warning us back 121 years ago, this uh, monument, they said, <laughs> it's called Mammon, in other words, corruption, or Eden, paradise, you know? Yeah. That's the choice. We've still got the choice now, and we've got to focus on that question. What do we want to do? Do we want to continue in our corrupt ways? where bad laws are enforced and people are oppressed because we are oppressed uh, we're living in a fool's paradise you know uh, if they can take whatever they like whenever they, they can put us in jail into uh, and in fact all the judges they're all frauds because when you have a commonwealth you set up a regime or a system of to either have uh, judges elected or appointed but always under the control of the people so but they are not appointed by the, the Crown. That is totally wrong. So we've got uh, uh, fraudulent uh, judges and, and, and magistrates in our courts who disregard the rule of law. They disregard legal procedures. They are all kangaroo courts. So we've got to take control by governing ourselves through our courts, take back our courts, and remove the traitors, and in fact, embarrass or shame the sheriffs because their their job is to ensure that the people can exercise their rights in court in safety but when you get into a court your rights are denied uh, and it's wrong so we've got a big task on our hand right from now